So I need to give a shout out to Ola Gall. She let me know that there's actually a couple ways in which a man can pass on an X chromosome to a son. This is significant as previously I said a carrier male couldn't pass on the gene to his son without a carrier female. However, there is something called Klinefelter syndrome. In this case, cells fail to split correctly, and a sperm can carry both an X and a Y chromosome. However, Klinefelters are sterile, and so they wouldn't really affect the ancestry of our story. Of course, it could be that Magor the Cruel was a Klinefelter. It could explain his sterility, and it could explain where the dragon Quicksilver came from. The other case is called a Chimera. In this case, two embryos actually fuse together in the womb and different parts of the body can actually have different DNA from other parts of the body. It sounds crazy, but this is actually the reason why some people have different colored eyes. And you know who has different colored eyes? Tyrion. This is significant as some people think that Tyrion is the son of the Mad King Aerys. Of course, Tyrion's eye is black and Aerys's was purple, but maybe Tyrion's is dark purple. This also means that potentially, if Rohan Weber is special, Tyrion could be the only male dragon hatcher in the world. Setting dragon hatching aside, it's still awfully interesting that Tyrion has two genetic selves within himself. If our story requires two genetic powers to come together, Tyrion may be the solution. Now some people may be thinking that I'm overthinking this. Was our author really thinking about all of this genetic stuff? I would say there is a very high probability that he was. The character in our story who studied the breeding of dragons was called Septon Barth. In our world, a Septon most closely resembles a friar or a monk, and the most famous scientist monk ever was Mendel, the father of genetics. He studied the breeding of peas. I can't even name any other scientist monks off the top of my head other than Copernicus. So in our story, we have this Mendel-like character, Septon Barth. And then there's Barth syndrome, an X chromosome linked genetic disorder. So yes, it seems like our author was thinking about this stuff. Our author even thought about chimerism as he has another character that suffered from it. Melis the Monstrous, who led the Blackfires in the War of the Nine Penny Kings. Also, in every single book, Tyrion is referred to as a gargoyle. In architecture, the terms gargoyle and chimera are used interchangeably. In fact, technically speaking, gargoyles are supposed to be water spouts. Chimera is the correct term for a non-water spout gargoyle. Keep in mind, George R. R. Martin was a sci-fi author who commonly wrote about genetics. Night Flyers, Bitter Blooms, In the House of the Worm, All of Tough Voyaging, and Dying of the Light all heavily deal with genetics. And then there's Star Lady, a story about genetically engineered prostitutes, which features Golden Boy, our author's first Valyrian. Sort of. The link for that story is below. Anyway, just more food for thought on Thanksgiving. See you next time.